Okay, <clears throat> good morning, everybody again, and uh, welcome to the session 3.2, where we continue with the exercise on shocking the, the market model or the items in the market model. So compared to the previous session where you work with the, the GDP shock, here we will focus on the human consumption. So continuing in the same order, we provide, uh, uh, let's focus a bit on the, bit on the background where the, how the human consumption is defined and uh, how that goes into, into Capri. So going again into microeconomics, uh, going to the demand curve where it's actually defined of price and quantity in this particular case of meat, because this will be the focus on the scenario. So uh, simply uh, just reducing the consumption, we should expect a decline in prices. And, um, but at the same time, we should expect uh, different effects on the on the other products because uh, the demand of meat or the cut of the demand of meat it's also related to to soya which is uh, which is used as feed component for livestock so the reduction in the quantity or production in meat or the demand should also have a effect on the demand for soy used as feed, so we should have a reduction in the prices of feed. But at the same time, if we also exogenously shock the demand for, for soy used as food consumption, we should expect a, a changes, changes or increase in prices. So depending on how you, how you define the scenario, you should expect uh, uh, different effect on the prices and the human consumption, because you know the the human consumption also depends on the consumer prices. What uh, what you actually saw in the previous uh, session, uh, where uh, you define the final demand, and uh, just to repeat again the scenario shock for human uh, consumption it's drawn it's done through this uh, scenario shifter position that uh, i showed you yesterday for the yield shock through the absolute change absolute level change factor and percentage change and uh, the shock actually goes through this file in the armington the prepare market and it's activated through this uh, set scenario shift columns when the market model is on. And we're actually in Capri, this uh, adjustment occurs and this happens in the main market model GAMS file in the equation HIS, where the human consumption is defined for the generalized Leontief expenditure. And uh, you know from yesterday that the human consumption actually is defined the population in that particular region times the per capita income, where the per capita income was actually uh, following the indirect utility function, which in Marshallian terms was defined with this uh, minimum uh, minimum consumptive value uh, f and this uh, g g function which depends on uh, consumer prices and different uh, consumption shares but just uh, uh, similar uh, for, as for the yields you could see that uh, the main uh, main variable in this case, it's the V consumption quantity, which is also related to the, to the 
data cube or the parameter, which actually is embedded <clears throat> where the shock is actually embedded in. And given the equality sign, we should also expect a reduction in the in the in the human con or the balance. So, uh, what is the scenario that we will focus here? Uh, we will focus on decrease in, in meat, as I mentioned, based on the calorie, given a threshold value or minimum requirement. And uh, this actually comes, uh, the threshold value actually comes from the Lancet Commission Healthy Diet Report. This uh, Lancet Commission is actually run by many scientists uh, from Oxford and uh, uh, in 2018, they published this famous report about uh, promoting healthy and di healthy and healthier diets to achieve the sustainable development goals. And and one of the recommendations was that uh, we should consume less meat and focus more on plant-based diets like pulses and legumes. And they have a threshold value of 3,000 kilocalories per day, including the food waste. But more specifically, they, they focus that the maximum consumption of animal products should be 400 kilocalories and uh, from meat should be 140 calories per day per capita and red meat, including pork, should be 45 kilocalories per day. So in this scenario, our focus on, the, as I said, will be on cutting that extra kilocalories that we consume above this threshold value, which is, uh, we call it luxury consumption. But at the same time, to compensate the reduction in the calories, because we don't want people to, to starve, we will compensate with increase of 20% of the, in, of the consumption of, with, of coming from fruit, fruit and vegetables. So we will basically convert the meat consumption calories into a 20% increase in fruit and vegetables. And uh, yeah. So uh, what are the scenario settings? The scenario is already predefined, but uh, just to speed up, we won't focus on the details. And uh, in this uh, particular scenarios, when you open it, you will find uh, many different uh, global variables from which you can choose uh, different alternatives. But for this case, we will focus on red meat, as we said, which will be the 45 kilo calories per day will cut by 30% and at the same time we will substitute by uh, legumes and vegetables the by 20%. So going uh, oh sorry we want, even though here it's uh, it's red meat, we will focus only on beef. Sorry, I didn't saw that. And uh, doing some calculations of considering the baseline calories and uh, these shocks, if you go through the scenario, you will see at the end, we end up uh, defining a percentage change of how much human consumption of beef will reduce and how much legumes, uh, how much the kilocalories for legumes and vegetable increase through this special for these uh, products, pulses, soy, tomato, other vegetables, apples, other fruits, citrus fruits, and table grapes. And I forgot to say there is another global here, which is called which is uh, activating and deactivating the shock. So if you just want to apply to EU or you would like to apply a global diet shift. And in this case, we focus only on EU. So what are the expectations? If, as you could see from the previous session on GDP, 
you could expect uh, changes in the supply and uh, if the supply on one product is declining because of the preferences or cut in the demand, you should expect also changes in prices or declining prices. That means you would expect also changes in the market balance or when the supply is changing and uh, also the nutrient balance, given that uh, you, you do different, uh, given that the many production activities, especially livestock will be affected, but also uh, effects on the global warming potential and of course the income. So the, as, as uh, for the other exercises, we prepared a set of questions that uh, we would like you to answer and provide uh, provides a, a short presentation in two to five minutes. So thank you. <laughs>